Hello everyone, thanks again for joining me today. We're gonna to talk about getting an FHA loan to purchase or refinance a condo. Now when it comes to the FHA uh, guidelines to be approved for a mortgage, uh, being approved for a condo and getting an FHA loan for a condo is the same as what you would expect for a single family home. The only difference is that there are certain requirements that FHA has for condos or the condo association. So the condo association has to be warrantable. And uh, what, is it, what does it mean to be warrantable? Well, in the eyes of the FHA guidelines, you have to have um, a certain number of the, the uh, condos in the association need to be occupied by the owner versus being rented out. The association dues need to be uh, current, meaning the other owners of the other condos in your condo complex that you're interested in buying have to be current on paying their FHA, their, their HOA dues, excuse me. Uh, the other thing is, is that your condo association must have enough insurance to cover the replacement value and they must have enough reserves in their account to accommodate any repairs that might need to be done in the future. Those are just a few examples. So in many instances, the uh, FHA uh, will not recognize a condo complex as being FHA approved for one of those reasons or maybe another reason as well. So what you might wanna do is just verify with your lender whether the uh, condo complex that you're interested in is already FHA approved. And if it is, then you should be okay. So now when it comes to getting approved for an FHA loan for a condo, one of the challenges you might find is that there is an association fee which will count against you in the DTI calculation when trying to get approved for a particular loan amount. So for example, let's say you're, uh, you're at a 50% debt to income ratio for a uh, single family residence and that single family residence, let's say, has got the same purchase price, 200000 And also, maybe they've got the same amount of taxes, 2500 Well, with the condo, you're gonna have the homeowners association dues. Let's say it's $250 a month. Well, that $250 a month is gonna count against you in your DTI calculation, so you might actually get approved for a lower loan amount while shopping for a condo versus a single family residence. So that's just something else to keep, uh, keep in mind. And if you want to do a couple of scenarios, let's say get a, an approval amount for a home and approval amount for a condo, we can help you with that. And if you're definitely buying a condo and you need a pre-approval letter or want to get a quote, whatever your situation is, just visit FHALenders.com. I'm gonna link down below to the article that talks about FHA loans for condos in the first pinned comment and also in the description. Appreciate you watching today and we'll see you next time.